Let's head to East River Volunteer Fire Department, where we're going to turn back time and introduce you to the newest hometown hero, a Wyoming County native who made Mercer County his home. For 47 years, Charles Short served at East River, starting in high school and continuing to serve others even after he passed. He was just a wonderful man, a wonderful father, a role model to a lot of um, the men that joined the fire department. Um, he was a, just a one-of-a-kind person. Underneath every fire helmet is someone with a commitment to a life-saving service. And underneath this helmet for 47 years was Charles Short. Oh, he was hilarious. He was all the time um, just doing stuff. We spent a lot of time uh, riding in the side-by-side -side together. For Amy Burnett, Short was not only her fire chief, but her dad. I grew up going to fires with dad, watching him go in and come out of fires. Um, he's always been my hero. The fire department is in the Short family blood. While Amy would watch her dad put out fires from the outside, his brother was beside him in the thick of it. Exactly. We come from Wyoming County. But mine and his relationship, we always knew each other knew that the other one was there for him if we needed it. While the former assistant fire chief has been gone three years now, his methods live on in the firefighters he mentored. Oh yeah, you know, there's a lot of times out here that on the fire and some of them, you hear him say, well, Charles Short would have done it this way, or that's the way he would have done it. And you know, that, uh, that's a good thing. It's something he gave those kids that stuck with it. Just like he served in the fire department, he served as he transitioned. He's, he dedicated his life to helping other people. Um, and I think for me, what made him a hometown hero and my forever hero is even after he passed away. Um, we were able to donate his organs. Um, his skin went to help burn victims. Um, about two weeks after he had passed away, I got a letter saying that because of him, two people that were blind woke up and could see. So for me, there's no better description than a hero. And that is what makes Charles Short a hometown hero.